Alrighty, good afternoon, everyone. Um, good to see you all coming in here. We're just waiting for a few more people to be added here from the waiting room, and we will dive right into some information. But first off, let me thank you all for joining us today and taking time out of your schedules. Um, we're excited to see everyone. It is truly our pleasure to help you out here. It is our goal to provide you with some great information that you can utilize hopefully turn this information into some monetary profits that we go over. Um, but we'll get started in just one minute. We just wanted to give time for just maybe some late stragglers to come on into the waiting room and get logged in from our link here. Hello? Uh. All righty, in the interest of time, I am going to go ahead and get started here with covering our information. Uh, my name is Corey McCain. I am with the apartments.com team here uh, under our parent company, CoStar. Um, I have been with the company here going on, let's say, about seven years there in March. Um, so I have been around since pretty much our acquisition. Um, I've been a trainer here for the last three years, um, but I have also prior to this been in your line of work prior to coming to CoStar and Apartments.com. I was involved with residential property management for the first 10 years of my career. So I have done everything you guys are doing as far as marketing properties, leasing properties, uh, doing collections on properties would need be, pulling maintenance requests. So I just wanted to let you know, I've been where you're from. I've got the experience so I can let you know how things are going, okay? So first things though, who we are at apartments.com. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen the commercials. Brad Bell, Flowers, the kind of guy, love him to Would death. get paid uh, so that they wouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think everyone should. OK, cool. All right, man. I'll get back to you. That was TD, whoever that was, that was speaking. So he should mute himself. Corey, you're on mute. All right, that should have TD and everyone muted there for it. But us at apartments.com, um, pretty much we have a full network here of apartment sites that are geared towards marketing your places, um, big, small, in between, even down to individual homes. So it is the most trafficked website for apartments and dwellings for people to go through. Um, so we are here to help you there. What we want to do in this webinar, um, let you know that we're not just here for large management companies, okay? That's that's not we're here. We're here for everyone. If you have one property to 10, 20, 100 properties in your portfolio, okay? What we also do is we offer you screening options so you can even advertise your property, have people apply, uh, screen them, get reports, have leases signed. We have an entire litany of rental tools available for you for free through apartments.com, okay? So in this webinar, we're going to work through pretty much the application process, the screening process, um, to kind of give you a view of what it would look like, what your renters would see when they apply for it, um, and we'll cover that as the basis of it. We've got a ton of other rental tools here that we don't have time to necessarily go into detail about today, but we will cover in future webinars, okay? Um, so just some things we're going to do here. If you have any questions, as I'm going through the presentation, please put those in the chat for us. Um, I've got my customer support team in the background curating any answers you may have. Hopefully I covered this in enough detail for you, but we will be recording this as well. So we can send this out in case you miss any information, would like to review the information again. We will send that out to everyone inside the Zoom call today though. So no worries if you miss anything, it is recorded. But again, feel free to leave any of those questions 
in the chat here for us. And we will have a session at the end for question and answers. We'll cover those for you. So kind of what we'll go over today is um, we've done our introductions. Uh, we would love to how to add a property that you can list on our website, actually enabling applications so your renters can apply for them, um, what it looks like on their end so you can confidently work them through it if you ever need to, what's the screening process and credit reports kind of look like as an owner. I'm going to give you guys some available resources that you can contact at any time. And again, at the end, we'll go through a Q&A session for you. So the first step really in all of this is adding a property to the site here for it, okay? Here's the home landing page and I'm working off the assumption this person has already signed in. So your first thing that you need to do, of course, is sign in or sign up for your apartments.com account, uh, set up your passwords, get that going. Um, but this is what an individual owner, let's call her Vanessa has logged in and she's ready to add in a property to the site with us. What she's going to see once she clicks add the property is this basic property information screen here for it though, okay? Now I want to bring to your attention, you can advertise and list a single unit or multiple units there. So if you have an entire building, that's fine too. Just one, that's all right as well. We have those options built in for you, okay? But you just need your address with the property types, simple bedrooms and bathrooms, you click add my property and you are good to go and good to start there. After adding your property, it will give you two options, okay? For this one, let's say you don't have an assistant and you're looking to like advertise, market your property and dwelling out to people. Then we're doing do for add a listing and add listing details. Um, just so you guys do know, we do have a manager property as well. That's when you already have the site online. You may not need to market it, but you could still take advantage of all the rental tools that we do have as far as like creating leases, accepting rental payments, um, and the entire suite of rental tools that we do offer there for you, okay? So you don't necessarily have to market it and you could still utilize these tools, but if you were looking to list your property on our network of sites and advertise, go ahead and click add listing details. Now here's where the fun part kind of comes in, which is a beautiful in my opinion, okay? You're gonna have your address here. We've got the map set up for you and you're just gonna add in your details for bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, um, kind of deposit amount you're looking for. If it's a lease term, you can do 12 months, you can do short term or three months, really kind of totally up to you how you wanna manage those and get the details of your property. A little further down that page is where you can add photos and videos. Now, I will say there is one requirement, okay? You do have to at least upload one photograph for your listing to come onto our site there. But please feel free to add more, especially in this age of people viewing things virtually and on the website. Photos are so key to grasping the attention of renters here. Further on down, you can also add in property amenities. Uh, a great feature we have also are the custom amenities you can add on. So everyone's place stands out, everyone's place is new. Please show your renters what you're looking for. It's kind of my pet peeve just being in the industry, you definitely wanna market at your best. And when they ask you about a description of your property, please take the time to go in and really leave a detailed description about what your property has to offer. Your perfect renter is out there, I promise you. Give them all the information on this listing you have there. I realize it's optional as far as um, leaving the description, but I would strongly encourage each person to really leave a written thought out description of what makes your property stand out from others on this site. But once you guys are good with how you've added things, what you wanna market to your renters, what you don't, all you're gonna do is publish your listing, now it is gonna say if you're the broker, owner, property manager, we just wanna know how you're doing those things, how you'd like to be contacted, if you want your name hidden, whatever privacies you're looking for to customize your ad are available and the contact information you wanna put out. So it's that simple, you're just publishing once you add in all of your amenities and things. 
Now, the next step, which I think is probably our easiest one that we're going to cover here today, is enabling applications. So you do have a choice here, okay? You have a choice to enable applications, that meaning that the renters and tenants that are on the website can view your ad and apply directly right there for it, okay? Now, once your listing is live, you can decide yes or no, okay? And you can then begin adding your screen criteria. I do want to let you know that if you do click no, it's fine. That doesn't mean that your listing is not showing up on the site. Quite the opposite. You can list with us no matter what, even if you don't enable these applications. Now, I would strongly suggest enabling them um, to take advantage of the screening features we have, the credit reports and histories. That is totally fine, but up to you. If you would like to enable them, though, please just hit add screening criteria. And I'll kind of show you with the screening criteria that we have when we're going through our online applications. Okay, so the things that we're looking at automatically, we're looking at rental history, okay? We're looking at income criteria, and you can add that income criteria right there on your own. So we're already looking at rental history and income. We are also going to be looking at credit history and criminal history there for you. So you get these things for free just by enabling these applications. It doesn't cost a penny to any landlord to enable the applications. And once you hit save and finish, you are just done. So super quick to click yes, set any criteria you may want, and you are good to go to begin receiving applications from renters from our website. I do want to take some time to just give you a view of what it looks like when you're applying as a renter so you can know the experience your potential customers are going through. So applying as a renter, it'll have an apply now placard right there on um, your advertisement and they apply now. It is going to prompt them to pay for the application fee. So it does cost the renters a fee to apply of $24.99. But again, it doesn't cost anything coming back to you. All right. When applying as a renter, they do fill out an application with us. So anyone over the age of 18 is another occupant, or if you have guarantors, we'll have them there for you guys uh, to apply. But they're just putting in pretty much your contact information, um, other occupants. It is gonna ask them for their residential or rental history, their employment and income, references, um, vehicle. And they're also going to have to go through an ID verification through TransUnion and Smart Move as protection to say, hey, this is really who that person is. So you're gonna have verified registered people that are actually gonna be applying for these apartment homes for you. So once your renters are done with that, they'll say, let them get a pretty much notification that their application is complete, that you can view the applications, they can view their TransUnion number, all that is available to them. Now, owner verification is a part of this as well. Um, through the owner verification, we are looking to, you know, just make sure this is a safe platform, uh, minimize the fraud amounts there. So owners do go through their own verification as well here for it, okay? So owners must verify their identity before viewing the applications and the personal information. Now, some of you may have already verified your identity when adding your listing, okay? In that case, you will not be prompted to complete the identity check twice there for it, okay? But I'll show you guys what that kind of looks through and the questions it kind of asks you when verifying your identity. But looking here, it's simple things, your name, um, your pretty much your basic information. One thing I do want to say is it's going to be trying to verify your personal information and not your company information. So keep that in mind as these come through for you, all right? You'll put in that information. Um, you'll have to finish the verification via call, text, email. That's there for you. You'll input the code that it gives for you. If you don't get in a time, you can always request a new one. And it will ask you these questions of trying to verify your identity. So again, about your personal information as you trying to view the reports not your company's information trying to do those reports. But once you're verified, you can absolutely go then right into viewing the applications. 
Now, the application screening process, um, which is a very thorough one, is what we'll go through now here for it. This screen here is just like your applications dashboard, okay? So some of you may have multiple properties um, with multiple applications on them. You can see everything kind of in a snapshot from this view on the dashboard. So we're looking at Matthew Locke and Suzanne Vargas. Once we click them, we can get into a little bit more detail about how we have on Matthew's application, all right? Um, but it's gonna have everything in here for, for you. So it's gonna have his uh, credit report, um, a VIXTRA report, a credit score. Um, it may take a conditional approval to see a criminal report, depending on where you're from, but I'll show you what that kind of looks like because that's just a conditionally approved button. But what you're gonna see on this page, you are gonna see the TransUnion resident score. So you can see exactly what their credit history is looking like. Um, you can see their total debt that they have, any monthly payments, collections, lines of credit. So it's gonna go into a pretty detailed view of their credit history and their rental history for, for you. All right, so you can see that there's fraud alerts here, actual accounts you can walk through to see their credit accounts, see how much they have, what the balances are, any monthly payments. So we're gonna try and give you all the information that you can handle to make the best decision you can on your property. So you're also able to see address history, employment history. Um, you can verify those things in the application process. They've got places where people can upload W-2s, they can upload pay stubs. So you can have everything you're looking for submitted to you. And once you're done, you can scroll back to the top, see everything they have, see other inquiries. So now I had discussed conditional approvals for the criminal report. Okay. For certain areas, it may not be for all, um, so it may not apply to you, but for some, to be able to see someone's criminal history, you do have to conditionally approve their application first, and we do offer that button. And it notifies the resident that, hello, I have made a conditional offer for you, I've conditionally approved you, so we can move forward once they see some different things here for it. Okay. Um, and then it really just pulls up for you. You'll have that beacon open for you. As you can see, it'll change from conditionally approved to accept applicant. So even though you've conditionally approved, it doesn't mean you've accepted the application for this particular property that you're leasing. That is not the case. You still have the option to decline once you've seen this or move forward. But you will be able to see a full criminal history for anything that shows up under this tenant or this renter's um, information. Now, once you've gone there, you've got a couple of courses you can, of course, move for. Accepting the application means you can then move further if you'd like to and then begin the lease setup, which we'll talk about another day. Um, but you could also request a guarantor if or a co-signer like, hey, you know, I just need a little more income from you or, you know, I don't see a lot of credit history in your past. Is there a way that you could provide a guarantor for us? You can do that under our actions drop down right here. That's fine. Or you can decline the application altogether. Okay. I would say um, do your best, though, to decline applications if you're not going to move forward with the renter and just not leave them pending. Um, it is just a, a, a good user experience for the renters to have timely responses. It helps keep the experience good for them and it keeps renters on the website to bring to you. So those are your options on the actions one. If you do decline, it definitely does notify um, the applicant, but it'll give you the option before you do so to make sure if you do want to decline or don't decline. If you do though, it does send an email letting them know their application has been declined for this particular property, however. Accepting an application is just as simple though. You just click accept that application, and then it will move you forward to setting up a resident, okay? Now, we're not gonna go too deep into setting up residents today. Uh, that will be for a future webinar. We will send you guys um, so you can log in and see those. We'll cover setting up residents, setting up lease documentations, which is super exciting, setting up payments so you can receive funds in. So we'll cover those in future webinars, okay?
Now, some additional resources I kind of want to hand off to you that are super helpful when doing any of this is the Help Center. I would say that should be like your primary first stop for anything that we kind of like run into a bug with or a glitch with, stop by the Help Center. There are so many articles and walkthroughs to really help you maximize your listing. Of course, you can reach our customer service and customer support via email. I think that's probably gonna be the best way to reach them with support at apartments.com, or you can call them directly. Um, rental manager website's a good one too at apartments.com backslash uh, rental manager, okay? So please take time, make a note of those. These are great. Again, we'll still send these resources back out in another one of the videos. But I see we have a lot of things in our chat, so I wanna give us a lot of time for question and answers. Um, what we do have is Jocelyn here. Uh, from our wonderful customer support team. So one of the things you do have with apartments.com is live in-person customer support. Uh, they are based right here in Atlanta, Georgia with me. So I see them all the time. They are a hard working diligent group. Um, what I will do is I will allow everyone to unmute themselves if they need to have a follow-up question about any of the questions they have in the chat. There's still a bit of confusion left around that for, for you, but I will open it up to Jocelyn here so that she can answer anything that is going on for you guys in the chat. Thank you, Corey. Hi, my name is Jocelyn. Um, like Corey said, I am part of our customer support team. I've been a part of our uh, support team for a little over three years now. There are some questions that are coming in through the chat. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and address the ones that have come in just in case um, you guys haven't seen the chat and the answers in those uh, in the chat. Uh, so the very first question, do tenants pay for the screening or um, or do the applicants? So the so the applications are and screening reports are paid uh, for by the prospective renter. They would go ahead and click the apply button on your listing, fill out their application and um, complete the transunion verification to have the um, their reports ran uh, at the end of or before I'm sorry at the end of that they'll go ahead and pay the 2499 for their reports the 2499 uh, will allow, will allow them to apply to up to 10 properties for a total of 30 days so that you know if they don't apply I'm sorry if they don't qualify for your property they can move on and apply to up to nine other properties. Okay, um, do, do the applicants have to su uh, uh, supply their uh, social security number? They, they will need to uh, enter their social security number when they are uh, filling out, or I'm sorry, getting their reports ran. However, the um, social security number is masked when you receive them. So you as a landlord will receive them. Um, when you receive them, you'll only, have, uh, you'll only be able to see the last four digits of the social security number. The rest of it will be masked. Um, another question was, how do we print out their applications? So um, when the application appears in your account, there will be an actions button. This actions buttons will, uh, will allow you, I'm sorry, there'll be an option there for you to download the application as a PDF, and then you'll have the option to print it. Um, can you modify the uh, application? You cannot modify the application at this time. It's a standard application. Uh, can you access the webinar for future viewing? Um, I do believe Corey mentioned that this will be recorded um, and I do believe it will also be posted um, on the website. Uh, can you cover, I'm sorry, can you charge an additional fee to cover time spent calling their references? Um, if that's something that you charge, you would not be able to charge that through apartments.com.
Um, in terms of, uh, there's another question, uh, you would need their full social security number in the event you need to place a collection. Uh, we wouldn't be able to provide the full social security number through apartments.com. You only have access to the, the last four uh, digits. Um, it says, uh, can you show us the application template? Uh, we do have in our help center the option for you to download uh, sample applications and leases so you can see what they will look like prior to using the feature. Um, I'm not sure if uh, we have the application, I'm sorry, a sample application template to show right now, Corey. We do not have a large one to show, but I am sure we can at least do the best we can here. Let me see. Um, do do do. Under applications, applying as a renter. Do do. There we go. Uh, this one here is a little small for everyone, um, but it's your standard one. So it's got your applications and documents, more details, screening, and then I'll have a finish and submit tab. But they do have templates of everything in the help center. That might be a better way for you to see exactly what it'd be looking like from the user's experience. Thank you. And like I said, um, Asuda just actually posted a link directly to our help center that has the, um, the uh, sample application and screening reports so you can view them there. And you'll see exactly what they'll look like before uh, using them or receiving them. Another question, does the application include employment and ref rental reference uh, forms with authorized, with signed authorizations? Um, they will include, the renter will have, uh, will have to include their uh, employment and uh, references. They will not have signed authorizations. Um, another question, I, I listed an apartment that has three units in one building. The photo for two units are blended together in the listing. How can this be corrected? Um, this is something, uh, any specific questions, I would encourage you to contact support uh, during business hours and, and we can pull up your account and see exactly what's going on. However, uh, there is an option to archive any uh, units and when you archive the units, the photo should no longer show. So um, likely the best way to get that resolved would be to just go ahead and archive uh, the units that are not currently available. Uh, but again, I would encourage you to contact our support team so we can pull up your account and, um, and uh, answer any direct questions while we have your account pulled up. Um, I think that's all of the questions. Uh, if you have any other questions, go, go ahead. You can go ahead and submit them in the chat now. Does anyone else have any other questions? Um, so the reports that are going to be included are going to be a eviction. I'm sorry, the question was, so this is basically a credit report, not a full application package. Um, so it's, the, it's going to have an application. Um, like I said, the application can, uh, template, or you can see a sample application in our uh, help center in the link provided by Suda above. However, um, it does include an application as well as screening reports. So the screening reports are going to include a credit history, a criminal history, and an eviction history. So you'll have that plus the application. And again, that is just a standard application. Okay, another question. Um, when the applicant fills the application forms online, do we have access to them right after? What about if they change their minds afterwards? What happens to the information they submitted? So you will have uh, access to the applications as soon as all applicants have submitted their application. For example, if it's an applicant and a co-applicant, as soon as both applicants have completed the application, the application and the reports will be available in your user account. And if they change the, their mind, they do have the option to uh, cancel an application 
or withdraw an application from their user account. Uh, if you've already seen it, it will just no longer show in your account if they withdraw or cancel. Are they printable? Um, again, yes, that will be under the Actions button. Once you see the application in your account, there will be a button that says Actions. Uh, one of those options will be to download it. Once they're downloaded, you can print them. Uh, do you ask for the landlord's personal information, social and driver's license, for example, to verify landlord's identity? Can this be, can this be used for single family homes? This can be used for single family homes. And uh, I assume you refer to the rental uh, tools in general. Uh, yes, this can be used for um, single family homes. However, the, uh, in terms of the uh, identity verification that is done with TransUnion. I think Corey showed uh, a few slides earlier of how that will be done. There is a two factor authentication as well as uh, an option for you to verify your identity. You would enter some uh, personal details. You won't have to enter um, your driver's license, but um, you will have to enter some personal details that will generate questions or that will allow TransUnion to generate questions to verify your identity. Uh, can you show us the application template? Um, I think, oh yes, that was answered already, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I think it says, can we see the approved page um, after you uh, approve an application? I think, um, I, I'm not sure if there was one slide in there, uh, Corey, oh. or not, that showed the approved page. However, um, once it, shows, it says approve, you'll just see uh, something flash on the screen letting you know that you're, the, the applicant has been approved and they've been notified via email. I'm not sure if it's in the... Uh, presentation. Yeah, we do not have a picture of it in the deck, but it is an email sent out that's generated once you hit approve applicant there for it. Um, we may have some templates of what those approval emails look like also in the help center, um, just as a template. So we've got emails for a lot of different things to show what you see. So I would check in the help center for actual email templates that will go out to the residents. Hey, are there any other questions or any follow-up questions um, that would need uh, to clarify any questions I've already answered? Is there a minimum or a maximum number of applicants for the $24.99 price? So the $24.99 price is per applicant. Uh, so each person on the application would pay $24.99 as that does cover the, uh, their reports. Anyone who whose reports need to be ran, so that would be anyone over the age of 18 that is filling out an application. Is there a cost to the landlord? There is no cost to the landlord uh, to use the rental tools, no. Okay, is there any other questions? Uh, is there, will there be a recording of this presentation? Yes, there will be a recording of this presentation.
would a husband and a wife each pay $24.99? Uh, yes, that is correct. Both uh, the husband would pay $24.99, uh, $24 and so would the uh, wife. And each person would have uh, a total of 10 applications. Uh, again, the $24.99 is to cover the cost of their screening. Uh, if each person needs to have their screening done, they would pay $24.99. Is online application available with the free rental package? Uh, we do include free rental tools with all uh, free listings on our website, yes. Uh, in the chat, Megan also provided a link where the recording of the webinar will be provided or posted. Uh, are landlords adding a disclosure that the application may not be fully approved since other since other info is necessary? Um, there will not, uh, you guys, as landlords, you would not be able to add a disclosure. However, we do send a uh, conditional approval email. So the uh, applicant is notified of a conditional approval. What is the monthly cost to landlords? For a free basic listing, there is no monthly cost. Uh, for the uh, advertising of the, of the basic listing or for use of the rental tools. Uh, I want to know if the approval letter discloses it's conditional since income and references are still pending. Yes, the, the conditional approval letter does um, disclose that it is, um, it is uh, conditional. So they'll be notified that it doesn't necessarily mean that they've been accepted, but they have been conditionally approved. Uh, can approval of an application be flagged as tentative until applicant views the rental? Uh, no, they cannot be flagged as tentative. You can leave it uh, in a pending status until you decide to approve, uh, accept the uh, application or decline it. For those conditional letters, this is a template of kind of what they would see for conditionally, just to let you know that you have been conditionally approved. Um, and they can still go back and see what their updates are in their renters dashboard. So all renters will have an account with apartments.com as well, where they can log in and see their application status with you, whether you've approved it, not approved it, been conditionally approved or declined from the system. Are there any additional questions? Uh, the monthly cost to the landlords, again, that is, uh, it is free. The rental tools does come included with all basic listings. Um, not sure if that question came in again. All right, I think that maybe or I think we have one more. Uh, how does the landlord place for collection without the social security number? Uh, again, we don't provide the social security number through apartments.com. Uh, that would be something uh, you would be responsible for getting outside of our website.
Uh, are, what are the pay options for landlords? Uh, are you referring to collecting rent? Uh, we do have the option to collect rent through apartments.com. That rent collection can be set up through um, the website. Uh, and that's a good leading question to, are you going to have separate seminars on rent collection process? I do believe we are going to be having uh, separate uh, webinars for uh, different parts of rental tools. Yes, we will be doing additional webinars for rent collection, payment processes, all the way from adding monthly bills to expenses, along with lease generation um, and resident management. So we do have future webinars to cover all those detailed pieces of information for you. Uh, does the rental tools in apartments.com and cozy or are the rental tools in apartments.com and cozy.com the same since cozy is now a part of apartments.com? Uh, there are some changes. The uh, main part that will be the same are the is the rent collection. The rent collection is uh, pretty much uh, the same as uh, cozy. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what other um, rental tools were included with Cozy. However, uh, the applications are done, I'm sorry, the screening reports uh, are a little bit different. They're done with TransUnion versus I think they used Experian. Uh, how, uh, Megan just posted a uh, Cozy webinar uh, that may answer those questions a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, if you disapprove an applicant, do you have to state why you disapproved? Uh, do you have a sample letter? Uh, we do not have a sample letter and um, that, that would be up to you to, um, to disclose why they, are being, um, why they are not being approved or declined, why they're being declined. For cozy related questions, can we call apartments.com since cozy doesn't have a customer service line? Uh, anything specific to co your cozy accounts, you will still need to reach out to cozy support. Um, they do not have a support line, so you will need to continue emailing them. Uh, apartments.com support cannot pull up cozy accounts. Uh, the listing description disappears when I go back to edit the listing. Um, that sounds like it might be more of a technical issue. Again, I would encourage anyone with specific issues to contact our support team directly so we can walk you through it or uh, troubleshoot any technical issues. Okay, are there any other questions? What is your technical team contact? Uh, you can email us to support at apartments.com. That would be the email. Um, and then the phone number, um, I can go ahead and include that in the um, chat. And how long do you keep up a listing? Uh, basic listings are, uh, are going to be live for 21 days. However, you can keep refreshing the listing as long as you need it. And refreshing can be done from your user account. Um, if we apply to apartments.com, does our property show up on Cozy 2? Um, I assume you mean uh, post a listing. No, we do not uh, feed listings to Cozy. Uh, if you refresh a listing, would it show the initial listing date? Um, it wouldn't show the initial date, it would show the last time it was updated um, or refreshed. While we're here, guys, I also just wanted to jump in really quick with Jocelyn and uh, show again, like um, our help center 
for you to have any questions, our customer service support um, email and phone number and our rental management site. So along with the webinars and questions, these will always be here for you, no matter even after business hours, especially for Help Center. I would totally push you there. There's so many good questions we've answered over our time testing this. But back to you, Jonathan. All right, uh, I think that may be it from everyone, uh, but I wanna thank you all again for taking your time out and thank you for these amazing questions that we have here. I hope we have um, been able to get to what you need for the most there. But again, please reach out to our help center, customer service support and our websites. Um, we will have make this webinar available again for anyone who came in late, um, but please do be on the lookout as well for those future webinars we mentioned around rental payments and leases and resident management. So I would thank you again and thank you, Jocelyn, for your time. And hopefully we will see you all again on the next webinar.